Good morning, everybody. I'm so glad you're here on this beautiful summer Sabbath day. So I have a special miracle story for you that I watched happen this summer. But first of all, I have a question for you. Have any of you struggled with anything in your life? Maybe with like your temper, where you might hit a friend or your sibling because you get so angry. Or maybe <clears throat> you're a what I call what if person and you get really worried about different things in your life. What if, what if, what if? Or maybe you have a hard time sharing or maybe you get jealous easily. Any of you struggle with those kinds of things? Yeah, I think we all do, right? And have you ever tried to just stop these? Have you ever tried to just, okay, I'm going to stop worrying or I'm going to stop getting angry? Have you guys tried that? Does that work really well? No, maybe it'll work once for a little bit, but then usually it just happens again, right? But there's a solution, a miracle. When we give our lives to Jesus and when we spend time with him in what, like Bible study, prayer, when we come to Sabbath school and church, when we go to camp meeting, when we have worship at home, then guess what happens? Jesus changes us from the inside out. He sends the Holy Spirit, his special helper, and he works in our hearts. And little by little, we find out that we don't struggle with those things as much. Isn't that awesome news? It's kind of like a miracle. And I have a verse for you. Is it from 2 Corinthians 5.17? Therefore, if anyone is in Jesus, he is a new creation. The old has passed. Behold, the new has come. Any of you want to be a new creation? Yeah, I do. So let me tell you about my miracle. I was in the park one day, and I saw some milkweed by the side of the road, and I knew that on milkweeds, Sometimes they are special things. So I went and I looked, and I was looking for this. You guys see this? What is that? So I looked, and I looked, and I couldn't find any. But I knew that out of these came something like this. You see that? But do you know how tiny these are? They look really big here, right? But when you look, look at that. Do you see that tiny little white spot? That's an egg. And I was looking for those and looking for those, and I didn't find any. But what I found instead was this. Do you see the little caterpillar there? Yeah, that's a little caterpillar on milkweed. And there's two there. You can see the other one kind of hidden inside there. And I knew that if I brought those home, I would see a miracle. So I took those little caterpillars home and I gave them milkweed, fresh milkweed every day. And the caterpillars ate and ate and ate and they grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And then one day I watched my caterpillars as they crawled to the top of where they were and they just sat there in a J shape. And then one day we watched and their skin split open. And then their head fell off. <laughs> and then their skin splits open, and underneath was a beautiful green and yellow chrysalis. Is that cool? And then several days later, about 10 days later, one day I looked and I noticed that the chrysalis was clear and I could see inside. And this is what it looked like. If you look on the right, you'll see the green chrysalis. In the middle is where it looks clear. Can you see those orange and black? And then one day, we look some more, and all of a sudden, this came out. Whoa. Does that look a little weird? Yeah. It's a butterfly, but its wings look all kind of squished and misshapen, don't they? But little by little, as time passed, and it started moving its wings around, then <gasps> the wings look beautiful and big and normal, and it was a butterfly. 
And that's a miracle that I saw happen. It was so cool. Now I have a question for you. Did the uh, caterpillar have to work really hard to become a butterfly? Did it try every day? Did it say, okay, I have to become a butterfly, so I need to make sure that I have a, okay, a wing over here and a wing over here. Is that what happened? No. No. What did it do? It would eat, right? It would eat the milkweed, just like we're supposed to eat our Bibles. Not for real, right? But every time we read our Bible, every time we pray, every time we come to Sabbath school, that's like we're eating and eating and eating. And then one day, the miracle happens. And Jesus changes us from the inside out. And we find out that we don't struggle with those same things we used to struggle with anymore. So we went from a little egg, you see that tiny little white egg there, to a little caterpillar, to bigger and bigger and bigger, to a butterfly. So when you go about this summer and you see a butterfly, I want you to remember that special miracle that Jesus, with the Holy Spirit's help, wants to do inside of you to change you into a beautiful butterfly, somebody like Jesus. So let's pray real quick. Father in heaven, thank you so much for these miracles that we see all the time, Lord, and for the miracle that you want to do inside of us with the Holy Spirit to change us to be like you, Lord. Help us to just let you do it, to make time to just be with you, to come to church, and just thank you so much for doing that in us. In Jesus' name we pray.